I've always maintained that you don't need a lot of money to make a great video. Today I'm going to go over 10 tips to get you started. Tip number one, pick a location that's related to the content of your video. If you can't find a location that's related to the content of your video, use a black cloth for the backdrop. Rule number two, rule of thirds. Make sure you use your tripod and zoom in and get a nice close-up or medium shot of your subject. And make sure the crosshairs of the imaginary tic-tac-toe board are around the center of the focus of your video. Tip number three, lighting. As you can see, the light in this room is coming from the window of the kitchen right here. And if you look at the right side of my face, it's a lot darker than this side. You want to have even lighting on your face, so what I'm going to do is I actually have a mirror on this right side. I'm going to cover my mirror, and you can see it's a lot darker, and now I'm going to uncover it, and you can see the difference. It's pretty stark. If you don't have a mirror, you can use a white foam board. I'm going to flip the foam side this way, and you can see the same effect happens with the foam board. If you angle it just the right way, you can get a lot more light on my right side of the face. I'll use the black side, I'll cover the mirror, you can see the huge difference when I cover the mirror with the foam board. So that's lighting. Use natural light from the window, use a mirror or a piece of foam board on the opposite side. Step four, pick a quiet background. So make sure you unplug your refrigerator, your computer, or any other appliance that's making a lot of ambient background noise and the audio will be a lot more crisp. Which leads us to our next step, step five. Make sure you use an external microphone. For this particular video, I'm using my iPhone. And if you look really close, I'm gonna get a little bit closer. I've actually taped the headphones into my shirt collar and I'm using the microphone on my iPhone to record the audio. And I'm just using the voice memo system on the iPhone. You can use iTalk or a number of other voice recorders on there. If you don't have an iPhone, that brings us to tip number six, which is editing the audio in Final Cut Pro. It's very easy to adjust the audio level so that they're at the right level in Final Cut Pro. All you need to do is select all your audio clips, go up to modify, and then audio, apply normalization gain, and make sure the levels are set to negative four. Once you do that, your audio level should be at the right level. But as you can hear, sometimes there's a hiss from the camera or from the iPhone or from any electronics in the room that you might not have unplugged. And you wanna get rid of that background hiss. All you have to do to get rid of that is go to the effects tab and find the Apple audio filters, select AU graphic equalizers, you're going to use these settings to knock out the low frequencies and the high frequencies. And you're going to drag this effect onto your audio and that will knock out the lows and high frequencies, which will make your audio a lot more clean. Tip number eight, color correct your video. Sometimes your video is a little too light, a little too dark, or the grays are, or midtones are not quite the right level. Go to your color corrector under video filters and use that to adjust the highs, the mids, and the lows of your video so that they are at the right level. Tip number nine, text overlays. It's very easy to put a text overlay on top of your video indicating the person's name or their title or whatever they might be. Go to lower thirds text video generator under the effects tab and select your text, drag it on top of your video, and don't forget the drop shadow button under the motions tab under the viewer. This takes us to tip number 10, adding a color bar underneath the text so that you can see the text. If someone's wearing a white shirt, it's really hard to see some of the text sometimes. All you have to do is go to video generator, click on the map button, and then find the color video generator, drag that into your viewer, and what you're gonna do is put the color bar in between the text and the video frame. It should look a little something like this. Next, what you're gonna do is go to the motion 
tab under the viewer, find the crop button, and you're going to crop the top, and then you're going to crop the bottom so that it looks a little something like this. Next, you're going to find the opacity tab. You're going to lower down the opacity so that the background video shows through the color bar. And finally, add a couple cross dissolves at the end so that it all disappears. And that's it. Which brings us to our bonus tip. If you go to the motions tab, you can also tinker around with the scale and with the center point of your video. And the reason why this is important is if you change the center point and then change the size of your video, you'll have enough room on the side of your video to make some cool scrolling text for your ending credits. And that's it. 10 quick tips on making a professional level video using your iPhone and Final Cut Pro.